Russell T. Davies noted how firmly the concept of limiting Time Lords to 13 lives, introduced in The Deadly Assassin, was lodged in fans' minds. Davies attempted to deliberately subvert the limit in Death of the Doctor, though he admits that fandom may resist his attempt to alter the program's mythos. When they came to launch the 11th hour, I went along to this screening in LA and journalists put their hands up, and one of the first questions was, what will happen when he reaches the 13th regeneration? There's a fascinating academic study to be made out of how some facts stick and some don't, how John Pertwee's doctor could say he was thousands of years old, and no one listens to that, and yet someone once says he's only got 13 lives, and it becomes law. It's really interesting, I think. That's why I'm quite serious that that 507 thing won't stick, because the 13 is too deeply ingrained in the public consciousness. But how? How did that get there? Russell T. Davies, however, events depicted in Stephen Moffat's The Time of the Doctor confirm the 12 regeneration limit for Time Lords, and of the Doctor in particular, with the events of time exploring the impact this has on the character having finally reached his limit, the Doctor facing his final death of old age until the Time Lords send him the energy for a new regeneration cycle. Several characters express a lack of knowledge over how many regenerations the Doctor currently has including the Doctor himself, TV, Kill the Moon, Razalon who had a hand in giving him the new regeneration cycle, TV, Hellbent, and the Master. TV. The Doctor falls. Currently, a number has never been given for the number of regenerations the Doctor possesses in this second cycle. It is also unclear if the portion of regeneration energy that was stolen from the Twelfth Doctor by Davros impacted his ability to regenerate in any way. TV. The Witch is familiar. The number of possible future regenerations came into more dispute with the release of the Timeless Children, which revealed the Doctor to be of a species with seemingly unlimited regenerations. It has not since been made clear if they retain this ability, or if they are still bound by the usual Time Lord limitations.